this is we're, we're in May now. This is like the beginning of the second week of May, I think. Maybe it's the third week. I don't even know what date it is, frankly. My total rides to achieve this uh, $5,000 bonus, uh, I'm at five, uh, 751 rides as of right now. So by the end of the day, I hope I'll be closer to uh, 760, which would leave 240 to go. Uh, and that's still within, like, I can do it. I gotta do high numbers to get it done, but I can do it. Uh, luckily, here we are in Los Angeles. It's not that uh, super difficult. <laughs> Besides the traffic, of course. Let the mailman go. Do their thing. I'm actually going to drive right by a little uh, side note here. I'm actually going to drive right by CBS, what they call Television City, here. And you can see all the people out there who are uh, getting ready, probably paid audience members, but something like that, waiting in line to see if they get picked to for, uh, participate in TV shows. CBS Studios. Uh, that's just a little LA thing. So in there, since I happen to be driving by it. And but back to back to uh, reality. <laughs> um, yeah. So 7:55 uh, is what I'm hoping for. 7:60 by the end of the day. And I'm on seven today. I mean, I'm seven on seven right now. I just dropped off number seven. It was actually one of those audience member people. Oh, there's a hit. Now we're looking at number it's right down the street. Um, this should be number eight now, which is exactly what I need. All right, so I'll sign in later. Okay, time for another rideshare diary entry. So, I'm trying to end my night here. I've got the destination filter on, and I'll talk about that now. The des destination filter is a uh, option you can uh, turn on, and what it basically does is what it sounds like. It uh, you you can show or, or uh, indicate a desired endpoint for your ride the drive you're on now so for me I indicated it I want to go home so I indicated a ride to a kind of a popular you know place to go near me just past where I live a few miles and the idea is that will I might pick up some rides that are going in that direction that's that's the concept you you might pick up rides going in the same direction you want to go so you turn it on and then you hope for the best. Now I just got my first one from that tonight, but he was actually going the opposite direction. And what it says on Lyft, I believe I read somewhere, I believe it was Lyft, I might be wrong, is that it, it uh, picks up somebody who's you know within a few miles of your destination. It's not exactly where you want to go, and it's not exactly in, the, in line with your path. But if it's within a few miles, you, you may get that hit and I'd actually driven past this person and it made me go backwards to pick him up and then go backwards even farther to drop him off but it technically was along the path that I had just followed you know it was close to that path I think that when the it gets late at night the later and later it gets right now it's uh, almost 11 o'clock at night by the way and I think that the later it gets the fewer drivers are on the road so it ends up finding whoever's nearby and close to whatever this person might want to do. So what happens is you end up getting rides that aren't really along your path and don't really uh, you know, end anywhere near where you want to go, but they're not completely out of, you know, 
out of the it, it, they're not completely in the wrong direction but they're actually not sometimes they're not that close and I think it's just because you're the only one nearby and Lyft doesn't want to give up the potential ride so it just picks whoever's closest that's still got the thing on even if it's a destination filter that's not necessarily going that direction the other thing I don't like about it is that it seems to time out. I notice that if you turn it on and then you start driving, but it doesn't pick up anybody for you, after about 20 minutes it seems to time out and all it does is log you off. It doesn't go back to, to nothing, it stays on, but it logs you off. What is this idiot doing? It logs you off so that you're not online anymore. You can't just do it all day long. Oh, and there got another hit. This was right ahead of me too. That's perfect. So this will be the second one that's supposedly on my way. I'll pick her up and then I'll get back back get back at you. Okay, so that was a nice quick one, like I'm hoping they all would be. And that was actually right along the line with uh, <clears throat> my path. Very much. I picked her up on the road and I dropped her off like one little half block down from the road at her, her location, her destination. So, uh, you know, it can be that easy. And obviously that's right in path with where I'm me going home anyway. So right there from, you know, kind of downtown LA almost, uh, far end of Silver Lake, you could say, or, or Chinatown even, all the way to me going home, I've already picked up Two, two new rides, and uh, I'm coming into West Hollywood here, where there's also quite a bit of traffic. Usually, it's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday night, 11 about 11:10 now. Um, so I don't know how much there's gonna be, but you know, whoever's still at the bar and still at the restaurant are probably thinking about going home. Now, if they're going somewhere else, I'm not. I might not get them. Because I have the filter on. Otherwise, I would just get whoever is closest or I'm closest to. And that could be a ride that goes to the valley. That could be a 30 or 45 minute ride in the wrong direction for me. And remember, whenever you go, whatever direction you go, let's say 45 minutes in the wrong direction, you got to come back. <laughs> so that's 45 minutes back, too, to wherever, you know should be, in my case, where I, where I want to go home. So the destination filter is good. Now another thing is, I, I think I noticed, I'm not sure if this is true, but it seems like if I do get a ride while I'm on route, while the destination filter is on, it seems to add to the time or restarts the timer or something like that. Because it seems like other times I've driven with it on for a long time, but I'll be getting rides periodically, and then it doesn't seem to turn off by itself. It just stays on, stays on, stays on. Then I get another ride, then it stays on some more. Um, whereas if I just drive for about 20 minutes and I don't get a hit, it'll just, like I said, clock me out, turn off, and then get me offline at the same time. A little note comes up, like a text that just says, sorry, we couldn't find anybody along your, your route, so we're logging you out. That's that kind of a thing. So that's basically the destination filter. And it works pretty good. I've used it for Okay, so that was uh another now this is a good example of more of what I'm talking about. So that was obviously on the destination filter, it's still on, I'm, I can see it's still on right now. But now because somehow I, I like I said, maybe because there aren't that many drivers, but this guy took me back on the freeway going the opposite direction. First, I got to go way down to the freeway, which wasn't that uh, close to where I was at the time. So I got to drive kind of like all the way across town to get to the freeway. Maybe that's five miles or something. Then I get on the freeway and I can go backwards 
one whole exit, which is, you know, another couple miles, and two miles, let's say, then drive down the street and finally find this guy's house and drop him off. But overall, it's not that far out of my uh, way. Like, I could get back on the same freeway and go home if I wanted to. That's not, uh, not such a big deal. But I feel like... Um, Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, if I do that, then I'm really going to cut short the, um, potential for getting a few laps. Whoa. I caught you. Don't worry. I caught you. I didn't let you fall. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Come on. Uh, anyway, so, I'm going to roll these windows up now. The, so... Like I said, it, it will pick you up and take you far, although it's technically, you know, an easy... It would have been easy for me to jump on the freeway, just run under it, and, and then jet home, and I'd be home in, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever it is. Um, but I want to see if I can pick up some more rides, because uh, even though it's getting late, I need to get to bed so I can get up early. I also want to get my numbers up, and every day I let it ride until... Uh, I let it ride and say... Well, I'll make it up tomorrow. Well, I'll make it up tomorrow, you know. That adds up, and then finally it's like, I'm not going to make up, you know, that many. I make up a few. But they can't always be uh, pushed to tomorrow. I need to make some now. So now if I go back to where it looks more busy, that's kind of what I'm doing instead of getting on the freeway. I know I'm not going to get a ride on the freeway. <laughs> so I'm heading back to where it's more busy. I'm not with them. Whatever you want, I'm not with them. Mm, there he goes. But if I go back to where hey, I picked up this guy, like I said, restaurants, bars are letting out, and he was coming out of both a restaurant that he has a bar, and uh, I can maybe get one or two of these guys, girls and guys. So let's see how that works out. But I'm also near where I don't have to really get, get to that busy area. And I, and I am getting tired and it's getting later and later. So I think I'm at 17 or 18 now, which is a lot closer than what I wanted. Too, too, a lot closer to what I wanted um, for today. Today's number. But it's 11.30. It's after 11.30 now. And if I don't get home, if I go straight home now, it's going to be 12. By the time I get to bed, it's 1. And I'm trying to get up at 5, you know. So it's, it starts cutting it short the longer I stay out. Even if I get numbers now. Uh, I've already kind of met my minimum, so I'm good there.
It's on my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious.